investigating tonight how the Madison Water Utility is facing a multi-million dollar cash deficit. The utility will need a loan from the city to pay its bills, and ultimately you, the rate payer, will be asked to cover the cost of the interest. As News 3 investigative reporter Adam Schrager shows us, there's still some question as to how this happened in the first place, but there's no debate as to what happens next. We had an operating shortfall at the end of the year. That's the message Tom Heikinen shared with his Madison Water Utility Board at its last meeting. It's a cash flow issue. And then the general manager was asked one of the first questions we asked in our recent interview. What kind of a cash flow issue are we talking about? We're talking about $6 million, probably. We showed negative cash um, throughout the year, um, but um, the the issue is always with, with timing. A proposed rate hike to help pay some of its existing debt was delayed at the Public Service Commission. Water utility officials say a wet summer cut down on revenues and Oscar Mayer closing impacted the bottom line as well. Also, the utility is using its own accounting system and trying to segue to the city's financial software. Heiken is still trying to figure out exactly how this happened and says regardless, changes are coming to his budgeting process. The teachable moment is to um, budget more conservatively. The first that the board learned of this was at our regular board meeting last month. Lauren Kinnair runs the board that oversees the water utility. She's been on that board for more than a decade. We've got a financial person on our board. We have regular audits, outside auditors that come. They did not see any of this either. But the board's outside auditor last June did warn of what it called a material weakness in the utility's accounting, essentially saying their own process and staff couldn't catch or correct mistakes. Canaris says it's not clear if the board or utility acted specifically on that concern and that nothing but essential projects will be funded for the next two to three years. I don't think we can continue business as usual. I think we're going to have to have some lean years. We have some very lean years. In the short term, the mayor tells News 3 the city will loan the utility the money from its reserve so it can pay its bills. It's estimated that will cost Madison water users about a quarter more per year for as long as it takes for the utility to pay back that loan. Meanwhile, at the utility, there's a promise to its customers, to the Madison taxpayer, to do better in the future. We don't expect it to happen again. We're going to be taking a closer look, um, obviously, at our cash. But um, uh, it, uh, it's uh, just the situation we have right now. In Madison, Adam Schrager for WISC-TV News 3. The Water Utility Board meets tomorrow afternoon to get more details about what happened and how to move forward. Lauren Kinnair told News 3 understanding exactly what took place is critical to understanding how to prevent it in the future.